What's going on guys, Krahu here, and uh, welcome to a Call of Duty 4 gameplay. I decided to hop on uh, some Call of Duty 4, some good old Call of Duty 4, and get a gameplay. Now I know what you may think to yourself, uh, Krahu, why are you using uh, the most overpowered gun in the game? Now, uh, this is going to be a topic, uh, I thought it was going to be fitting, using something uh, better than, you know, most weapons in the game, uh, because I'm going to talk about overpowered weapons in I guess throughout Call of Duty history uh, we'll see how it goes and this game was really really laggy I mean the connection in Call of Duty 4 is really absolute uh, crap you'll see I mean I'm on a constant 2 1 bar you know an occasional 3 bar here and there here and there so I'm gonna pull up the scoreboard uh, quite a couple of times because whenever I get like a lag spike uh, I check the scoreboard to check my connection and uh, yeah that's pretty much it now, I don't actually even think that I have an M16 gameplay up on my channel. Um, I never really liked using something, you know, basically overpowered, I would say. Uh, something e easier. And I did have a gameplay recorded prior to this one with the M16. It was with the red dot, but it was just too freaking easy. I had to slap a silencer on there and to, I guess, make it less, I don't know, efficient. Uh, can you really say that? Because it is a, just a laser beam with stopping power and red dot, so... That's why I decided to slap a silencer on it. And Pipeline is actually a pretty good map to use a silencer, uh, if I do say so myself. Uh, but uh, going yeah, going all the way back to Call of Duty 4, the main problem in Call of Duty 4 was not really uh, overpowered weapons per such. Uh, more annoying things that the M16 was martyrdom, which had crazy range, uh, crazy like blast radius and still has uh, I was dodging martyrdoms left and right uh, and also three times frag that in my opinion was ten times more annoying than the M16 I don't really get pissed off if somebody kills me with the M16 uh, to be quite honest in this game uh, much more so in black ops with the FAMAS now we've seen some uh, gameplay from Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3 so I mean in that game it, it pretty much it pretty much summed it up how uh, weapons are gonna have recoil. I mean, there was some moderate recoil, but again, with the weapon proficiency that I do not like, um, you can basically build yourself with, uh, you know, with level, as you level up, you can build your laser cannon. So, uh, you can't get it, you can't get it quite at the start, uh, the laser cannon, but you will get it sooner or later, uh, with the weapon proficiency, uh, this and that, so... I don't know, I mean, maybe it is gonna be a good idea, maybe I'm just overreacting, or, or s for some reason, but, uh, yeah, uh, the ACR seem to have zero to no recoil, same, same ACR as we all know and love from Modern Warfare 2, uh, UMP kinda had that little, I don't know, maybe had some sway to it, uh, but not too much, M4 is the M4, uh, it actually had more recoil, in my eyes, uh, than it had in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. So we'll see what they did with the M4, as it is my favorite assault rifle to use. I always went for the M4 with the red dot or FMJ, that's pretty much my uh, two picks. I don't really like running silencers on assault rifles, uh, I tend to keep them for uh, SMGs, more close quarters. Uh, for something like assault rifles, I either use the red dot sight if you know the sight doesn't... Uh, I guess if I ha hate the iron sight like in the M4, which is kind of redunculous. I just slap a red dot and that's pretty much it. Now if you guys could uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that very much. And also leave your opinion on, on weapons in Modern Warfare 3. How do you think they're gonna they're gonna stack up against weapons from like COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops? Uh, it will be a pretty nice discussion. This is how the community kind of evolved uh, from Call of Duty 4 to Modern Warfare 2. Um, the main problems were 3 times frag and martyrdom. Well, nothing really was done about it uh, in Call of Duty 4. No patches were released, I believe, uh, for that issue. Um, but in Modern Warfare 2, they reduced, I would guess, the uh, blast radius of frag grenades, which we all, you know, were happy about. They moved Martyrdom. I don't even know why they keep it, but they moved it as a death streak. And I, I can probably count on the palm of my hand uh, how many times I was killed by actually dying to a Martyrdom in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, not too many, not too many times, although it did screw me over on a couple of occasions, but if they couldn't remove it, they at least brought it uh, to justice and it was a death streak, so that's not really a problem. Now, <laughs> the, 
Then came versus Black Ops, uh, overpowered weapons and uh, Modern Warfare 2 versus Black Ops in terms of overpowered weapons, recoilless weapons. The first thing that people looked at, the first freaking thing when the first trailer hit uh, for Black Ops was the recoil pattern. Now they used something like the FAMAS in, in the trailers and Commando which didn't seem to have a lot of kick but they did have sway and actually uh, when, I, when I look at it, when I think about it, uh, Black Ops weapons do have a hell of a kick, <laughs> 10 times more than they do on Modern Warfare 2, uh, that's for sure, so I want to see how it plays out, because see, you can't really believe everything that you see, because that's not, you know, you're not physically playing the game, so you can't tell uh, how it feels to uh, basically use that weapon uh, in Modern Warfare 3, so I'm going to keep my judgment till the game comes out, of course, still pretty super excited about Modern Warfare 3 coming out, but I really do not want laser guns in that game. Uh, I mean, yes, the ACR probably in real life does not have a, a lot of recoil, but this is a video game. Uh, we don't. This is not uh, laser tag. This is pretty much uh, Call of Duty. So, maybe you know what? Maybe they are gonna get everything right with Modern Warfare 3. Who knows? Um, the only weapons that I've seen uh, used in gameplays were like um, the Scar L, a lot of M4, uh, some Remington action in the survival trailer. And, you know, just survival gameplay. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, a lot of people complain about the ACR. And I was one of them, I guess, back in the day. Uh, because the ACR was pretty much the thing to use, uh, if I could say that. Uh, with the either the red dot or the silencer. But pretty much preferably the silencer. You really didn't need uh, stopping power on it. But uh, I really hope that Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games know what they're doing. And I hope there's going to be a good balance of recoil to sway and that the weapon proficiency is not going to take over and it's not going to be a problem because I would just, I don't know, I would, I would play, I don't know, My Little Pony on the PlayStation 3 or something, I don't know. Uh, but maybe, guys, remember, it all might go terribly wrong or it all might go flawlessly. I, I for one, hope that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the game to get, uh, that it's going to be fr freaking amazing. I have my hopes up. Uh, who knows? Maybe third Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare title is the uh, is the charm. Who knows? Who knows? But all I know is that the connection on COD 4 pretty much sucks now. This was one frustrating ass game uh, to play. I wanted to go for a 40 plus kill uh, gameplay, but it didn't happen. Final score in this one is 38 and 4, I believe. So yeah, leave your leave your feedback, guys. Leave your comments, thoughts, and I will see you next time.